Hello dear all, I'm so happy to be here uh, for the third session of drought videos uh, entitled Metallurgical Drought Indices and Drought Classification. Okay, let's get started with highlights. In this video, we will discuss about metallurgical drought, then we will focus on what are the metallurgical drought indices, and uh, also at the end, we will try to mm, focus on main drought classifications. If you remember, in the previous session, I discussed uh, about drought uh, types. And according to, to the American Metallurgical Society, uh, in 1997, groups um, drought definitions and types in four categories, metallurgical drought, agricultural drought, and hydrological drought. And at the end, so, uh, socioeconomic droughts. Uh, and we uh, discuss about uh, different, uh, I mean, that uh, types of drought. Uh, and in these videos, we want to focus on metallurgical drought. Uh, metallurgical or climatological drought, uh, uh, we can say that is usually defined as a shortage of precipitation or maybe moisture supply over some period of time. When we say that some period of the time, uh, it means to, uh, I mean that, a weekly, a monthly, seasonal, or annual time scale. So it depends to the time, I mean that. And some definitions of metallurgical drought focuses on the length of time since the last precipitation event. And, you know, when we say number of uh, consecutive dry days, uh, while other focuses on the magnitude of the precipitation departure from normal. And also... Uh, metallurgical drought focuses on the deviation of local water balance uh, from normal conditions. There are also another uh, definition, such as a metallurgical drought refers to a lack of rainfall compared to line means, long term means. And also, it can be defined as period of more than some particular number of days with precipitation less than some specified small amount. And, you know, just like there are nervous definition uh, of metallurgical drought, there are also nervous metallurgical drought indices. Uh, I will discuss more about them. And if you want to say that what is the cause of metallurgical drought, it's a result of a complex interplay between natural precipitation deficiencies on very, uh, varying time and space scales and can be exacerbated by human water demand and in in efficiencies in water distribution and usage and also we should focus on them i re uh, recommend you to watch this uh, to review this paper it's really important for drought severity and different kinds of drought concept uh, for metallurgical uh, drought it would be so effective for you you know before i start uh, metallurgical drought i uh, prefer to review some drought indices definitions you know these are tools which combines different data set into a single number which aids uh, decision making in water resources planning and you know we know that uh, uh, i mean uh, there are different other concepts for most drought indices are based on metallurgical or hydrological variables and, uh, you know, recognition and uh, beside monitoring uh, with, I mean, that uh, well-known indices are considered the first step in drought management. So we should consider this uh, topic here for management drought and monitoring drought. So uh, we have... A, Another things we should know that, uh, as I told you, uh, most of the drought indices are based on hydrological variables and metallurgical variables. To reduce the impact and loss of uh, drought uh, ca um, caused by drought, I mean that it's necessary to obtain information, different information on the occurrence and scope, intensity, the duration and impact of the route uh, in a real time. And these are some components related to this one. You know, metallurgical drought indices, I categorize them in several, uh, three different concepts. Uh, first of all, rain-based drought indices, eighth one, such as SPI, Standard Precipitation Index, 
and uh, for example, uh, um, DI index, effective drought index, and the rest, as you can see here, these eight uh, indices are focused on just on the rainfall as input data. And another uh, two others uh, methodological, there are RDI and SPI, beside precipitation, they need evapotranspiration data. And we should consider evapotranspiration beside precipitation. KBDI and PDSI, two other elements that we consider other things such as um, maximum temperature and temperature data beside precipitation data. We will discuss more about these kinds of the uh, in the next series of video. You know, for rain-based metallurgical drought indices, we should consider that, uh, I mean, that uh, as you know, uh, common to all types of the road is the fact that the they originates from a deficiency of precipitation that result in water shortage for some activity or uh, for some group. And fortunately, rainfall is an accurate and more commonly available element of a long period of record. So practically all drought indices and drought definitions included the rainfall, either singly or in combination with other meteorological elements. So we have a long period of data for reliable rainfall observation uh, become available about two centuries ago, and we can use the gridded data set, and I mean the different kinds of data for uh, uh, rainfall uh, data set or remote sensing data. So it's really important to know that. And another things in the last, uh, I mean the slide, Main drought classification, I will discuss it more in, uh, you can find this table in this uh, website. And uh, we have different category as a drought classification. D0, it refers to abnormal, normally dry. D1 denotes moderate, moderate drought. D2 is severe drought. D3 is extreme drought. And D4, exceptional drought. And we have different indices with different classifications, but we will discuss more in next videos. And, uh, you know, we have different descriptions and different possible impacts, uh, you know, when we say it about uh, categorized. In next video, we will focus on rain-based drought indices. I will try to show the equations, characterization of drought indices, methodological drought indices. And uh, we will focus on different limitations of the road indices. I mean that methodological rain-based road indices. Okay, and now this video is finished and please subscribe to our channel. Please hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Put your comments and questions below the video it would be helpful for me to know that what are your demand in uh, this video. And I hope uh, I can see you in next video. Have a good time. Bye-bye.